How did credit cards work before computers? Credit cards, before computers, relied on manual processing methods. When a customer wanted to make a purchase using a credit card, the merchant employed a manual and printer, commonly referred to as a zip-zap machine. This device was also known as a click-clack machine or a knuckle-buster. The process involved placing the credit card on a flat surface, covering it with a sales slip, and then swiping a two-part imprinter over the top. The imprinter contained carbon paper, creating an impression of the raised characters on the credit card onto the sales slip. This impression served as a record of the transaction details, including the cardholder's name, card number, and expiration date. Once the impression was made, the merchant would manually fill in additional information, such as the purchase amount and merchant details, on the sales slip. After completing the sales slip, the merchant kept one copy for their records and handed the other copy to the customer as a receipt. The physical copies of the sales slips were crucial for tracking transactions and resolving any potential disputes or chargebacks. This manual process, though effective, had its challenges. It was time-consuming and prone to errors. Additionally, the reliance on paper records made it necessary for merchants to store vast amounts of transaction paperwork. Security concerns were also present, as the information on the sales slips could be sensitive. Overall, credit card transactions before the computer era were characterized by a more hands-on and labor-intensive approach. The introduction of computers and electronic payment systems revolutionized the way credit card transactions were handled, bringing about increased efficiency, accuracy, and security. How do credit cards work technically? When you use a credit card, your transaction undergoes a technical process involving multiple steps. Here's a breakdown of the technical aspects of credit card transactions. Customer Initiation Customer presents the credit card for payment. Merchant Interaction Merchant swipes, inserts, or manually enters card details into a point of sale, POS, terminal. Authorization Request Merchant's bank sends an authorization request to the credit card network. Credit Card Network Approval Credit Card Network reviews the request, checking for available credit and other factors. Issuer Verification The card issuer verifies the customer's information and account status. Transaction Approval Decline The issuer sends an approval or decline response back to the merchant's bank. Transaction Completion If approved, the transaction is completed, and the customer receives a receipt. This entire process happens in a matter of seconds, facilitated by electronic communication between the various entities involved. The use of computerized systems ensures a swift and secure transaction experience for both customers and merchants. What is the old way of processing credit cards? Before electronic payment systems, the old way of processing credit cards involved the use of a manual imprinter, commonly referred to as a credit card imprinter, zip-zap machine, click-clack machine, or knuckle-buster. Credit card imprinter. Merchants used a mechanical device equipped with two parts, a sliding mechanism and a carbon copy sales slip. Transaction Initiation When a customer made a purchase, the merchant placed the credit card on a flat surface. Imprinting Process The merchant covered the credit card with a sales slip and slid the imprinter over it. Carbon Copy The imprinter transferred the raised characters on the credit card to the sales slip using carbon paper. Manual Information Entry After imprinting, the merchant manually filled in additional details on the sales slip, such as the purchase amount. Customer Receipt the merchant provided one copy of the sales slip as a receipt to the customer. Record Keeping Merchants retained the other copy of the sales slip for their records, serving as proof of the transaction. Challenges This manual process was time-consuming, error-prone, and required extensive record keeping. The old way of processing credit cards using manual imprinters was a significant advancement in its time but became increasingly impractical as transaction volumes and security concerns rose.